and I think one more time. Okay, so now what we need to do is handle in case there is uh, no person inside of the list people. So we'll go ahead and type an else statement right here. So if there isn't anything selected, then we'll just go ahead and type message box dot show please select a person and then we'll set the title to warning we'll set the message box buttons dot to ok and we will set the icon to warning so message box icon dot let's just do exclamation okay so if we go ahead and run this we'll go ahead and click the play you can see we have our form one dot uh, our form one right here we click new person I'll just add Sam click OK and you can see we get the current weight the current money and the current income and now we can have um, Sam eat work and exercise um, and you can see that it's going to update and I can increase the income can exercise even more can work even more and I can also eat and get fatter now um, before we finish the program there's a couple things we need to do to um, make it work better and to prevent errors so on the form one load we're gonna have we we're gonna have to um, disable these buttons right here because if they click them it's just going to crash the program because there's no selected person so we'll come back to form1.vb and we will add a sub that will disable all of those so we'll just call it private sub disable buttons and we will type button uh, eat dot enabled equals false button exercise dot enabled equals false and I'm gonna go ahead and type all this in and then come back when it's finished okay so you can see that I created the sub disabled buttons and I just set um, each one of the buttons enabled to equal to equal false so button exercise dot enabled equals false and I made a reverse sub of this called um, enable buttons which will just set each one of those equal to true so now what we need to do is come up here to form one load and when the form one loads since uh, by default the selected index is going to be negative one for our list box we're just going to type disable buttons and now we'll come down here and let's see list people selected index change so if the selected index is not equal to negative one then go ahead and enable the buttons and else we'll just disable buttons okay so now let's go ahead and run this and you can see that we have our uh, program right here we got the current weight which is nothing current money which is nothing current income which is nothing and you can see that these buttons right here are disabled because there's no person so let's just create a new person we'll call him Sam and when we select that person you can see that it updates right here we can have him eat we can have him work uh, we can have we can increase the income and um, we'll do whatever we want to him now we can create another new person let's just create John Doe and you can see that when we click on John Doe um, it gets the current weight and the current money and the current income which is default now we can add um, as many of these as we want and we can keep accessing different people so we'll just have him exercise, we'll have him eat some more uh, we'll have him work to make a lot of money and you can see that when we select these we get the values that are attached to each one of these people So this is the uh, end of working on our person program what I want you guys to do is create input boxes that will get uh, the pounds to eat, how many hours to work uh, how many hours to exercise and how much to increase the income so that your program is a little bit, a little bit more functional uh, and it um, just looks a little bit nicer and it works better so um, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next tutorial